Hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, have never seen one of my videos before, I basically do unboxing and anything to do with electronics or anything that'll do with computers, stuff, that sort of stuff. But if it's the first time you've seen these videos, I have a segment on my channel called Some Disassembly Required, you know, where I take apart stuff, show people what's inside. It's basically just showing you what's inside these devices. It's not really fixing anything. It's just taking them apart, letting you see what's inside, seeing stuff you've never seen before, what it looks like inside a device. So, what I'm going to be taking apart today is this instant power jumper box it's a jumper box you know in emergencies if your car won't start hook this up jump your battery off you go but it has built-in LED lights at the front a USB port on it then it has the obvious jumper cables here you hook up to your car Plus it also has a tire inflator built into it. But I've noticed that it's not holding a charge. You guys can see that in the video, that red LED light coming on there. But although it's charged, it like it'll stay green for a second, then it'll go off. So I have a feeling it's outlived its usefulness, so I'm going to take it apart and see. Usually, what happens to these is the battery inside won't hold charge anymore. Either the battery is either uh, the battery swollen and just it's run out its life expectancy, basically, because the way they design these things, they're not designed to last forever, especially with these batteries. But I'm going to be taking this bad boy apart for you guys. And it's basically a whole bunch of Phillips head screwdrivers. You can see the screwdriver here. So, got some in the handle, got some here, here. Basically, everywhere. There's Phillips head screws all over the place. So, I'm going to take a few out on camera, show you guys. Taking this apart here. And then I'll do the rest. Not to, I don't want to bore you guys with me taking screws out, but take the two off the handle out. Then I'm gonna take the rest out. There's, they go all the way down to the base. There's also Phillips head down here. So let me knock that out for you, and then try to pry it open and see what's inside this bad boy. All right, I saved you guys a lot of time by unscrewing a lot of these stupid bolts here. So, let's try to take it apart now. See if I can, all right, got that, all right. Handle comes right out, there was two screws in there. That comes right off. Looks like it's separating just fine see on the inside now All right. some cables still connected here let's see if I can get these connectors disconnected if you guys can see that this connector is connected it's disconnected this connector right here and there's one on the on the compressor motor. I'll take that one off. And then the rest are connected to the main switch right here. I'll get those off. Connect those. These are connected right here. 
get those out of there. This was right there where the main switch is. Now you guys can see, hopefully you guys can see that. Hope it's enough light. But here's the compressor pump right here at the bottom. You can see, and there's the motor right here. And you guys can see the gear, the gear right here. That creates the pressure to pump up your tire. And there's the, the goes to the gauge right here. It's connected right, and it goes all the way up to the compressor gauge. That's the amount of pressure. Turn it around, the amount of pressure here. This is basically all on this side, and then we have the control board down here. But here's where it, the power comes in, right here. This is the outlet, connects right to your power cable. This is held in place by one Phillips screw right here. Now let's try to we try to get this other side so you guys can see the battery. The battery's on the the other uh, side of this enclosure here. Let me get show you guys this control panel first before I go to the the battery. Show you guys the let me show you the control panel first. You guys can see. It's this one's held in place by two Phillips um, screws. I'm gonna try to move it around so you guys can see. Because I want you guys to see some of the um, components that are on this control panel here. So, let me try to get this off real quick. All right, get that. The switch is still connected. Get it out so you guys can get a good view of it. Switch, all right, put that down. You guys can see, these are the two contact points for the switch. Right, let me get it in there. There we go. All right. This is the main control unit here. And you guys can see some of the components here, capacitors. Wait, let me get this. Right here. You see those all over the place. And there's different kinds too. They got also ceramic ceramic ones so there's there's different designs different capacity so you guys can see that in there got some transformers here let me get this right here it's another one over here get some Transistors. I got one. Let me get this in the shine right here. You guys can see that. Now you guys can see just different different types of capacitors and different types of transistors. There's just different designs, and here we got a resistor right here. But this this one is ma mostly made up of capacitors, transistors, and some transformers. Those are the main components of this.
and just different types. It's mainly a lot of these compact, but there's just different types of them all over this board here. But that's it, guys. You can see behind here. I flip it around. You can see in the back of the board. Get it in the shop. All right. Enough of that. Let's get to the battery. That's what you guys really want to see. All right. On the other side, the unit. Here's a freaking battery. Look how big that thing is. It's massive. Just held in here. I can see a little rust in the bottom of this thing. This is basically connected to the jumper cables. Now you can see the main ground cable connected right over here. And I see a lot of, look at that, corrosion. Close up so you guys can see this, look at that. And this is a, you can, I mean you guys can see this, this is a, rechargeable valve regulated lead lead acid battery this thing this is not an ion battery here guys this is a lead acid battery can see in the bottom here this is the connection it's a is that a uh, a car adapter you can plug in car accessories at the bottom here and it has a fuse a fuse that goes right in line here and you can get power right off the battery and here is the main control board here you guys can see that. Let me see if I can get this off real quick. But this is where all the integrated circuits, this is where all the good stuff at. The other board was just mainly made up of, 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 of capacitors and piece of junk. Let's connect these wires here. Alright. This is the front of it. Let me get these wires disconnected. So we can get a better look at this bad boy. Well, these wires are slowing us down. Should have had my scissors. Let me cut these. Where's my assistant when I need it? Oh, here it is. Let me cut these wires off. Let me slowing this down here. Alright. These connectors are not the Playing nice, so always bring your assistant with you. All right, let's see this connection here. 
as you can see all these light emitting diodes right here green yellow red that was the front of the front panel when you press the front panel it would indicate how strong voltage in the battery was and then we have a little speaker right here if you guys make a bad connection this would sound start beeping let's turn it over and you can guys can see you guys can see it integrated circuit right there right there it's relaxing by itself and then you got a little Ceramic. Wait, there my hair. Sorry about that, guys. Back in here. Got ceramic uh, capacitors. You got some transistors on here. But the main component is the integrated circuit right here that controls, you know, the light speaker all that good stuff there is another thing in here just for lights here. there's a couple of lights in the front this one is for the LEDs that come on in the front three lights so there's Then basically it has the connector for your car accessories. It's basically like a no cigarette lighter ports. Auxiliary for car auxiliaries. And there it is. Metal tube. But that's basically all that's inside here, guys. entire unit and then the battery that doesn't work oh. that's it guys that's what's inside instant power power battery pack that's what was inside 